What's up guys, so this is a quick video on how to take your brake rotors off. Basically I'm doing a tyre change on my wheel and I have to take my rotors off anyway so it's the same procedure to change your rotors as taking them off and putting them back on. So basically uh, I'm going to take them off but what I've done first is I've put little markers on mine to remember which side they've come off and which direction. Uh, uh, they're going in with the wheel so basically when you buy some uh, new rotors they might be directional ones as well so you'll have to make sure that you you, you take note of that so right we're going to take the old ones off and basically they've got a uh, lock tight on them so they'll be a bit difficult to take off so what you want to do is uh, just take them off by hand try not to use a uh, any kind of impact driver or any machinery of any sort because you might end up rounding the uh, bolts off and that will end up uh, being an even longer job so right let's loosen these off That's one. Right, I've uh, loosened them all now. I'm gonna take them off now completely and take the discs off. They're really solid to break the seal, but they're off now.
I think the hardest bit of this job is is breaking the seal on the Loctite. But after that, it's, it's plain sailing. Like I said, if you do use a, an impact driver or any kind of tool to take these off, the actual, if you can see the bolt itself, they're actually very soft bolts and they seem to lose their threads, I mean not the threads but the uh, grip inside. You can see there's been blue Loctite on it. So right, that's one disc off. We'll take the other side off now. So right, that's it guys. So basically that's how you take your rotors off. One thing you want to do is just check with your fingers to make sure that your discs are nice and smooth. If they are, they're alright. Right guys, that's the discs. Or should I say the rotors are off now. So right, um, I'm going to actually get my tyre changed and I have done a separate video on how to take a wheel off a motorbike and uh, I'm going to do one on how to change a tyre. So right, as soon as I've changed the tyre, I will continue this video and uh, fit the rotors back on. Right, okay. Right guys, uh, I've had my tyre changed and uh, I'm going to put my brake disc back on so if you're going to put a new brake disc on you just do the same thing what I'm going to do now so just make sure they're not directional ones if they are make sure you put them on the right way so right we'll put them on now and basically it's the same procedure as taking them off So right, what you want to do is, you want to put a bit of Loctite on all the bolts basically. It did have some Loctite on it before, a bit of focus. So right, yeah, just put a tad on and uh, it'll keep it on solid. So when you're riding around, the vibrations won't make it come loose. So you don't need loads, just put a tad on on the bolt itself. And 
that do that with each and every one of them when you put them on see if you can put them on vertically across from each other Try to get this type of air, if you can see that, lock tight. It seems to work well with engine oil or any kind of grime or anything. Right, just tighten them up now. tighten them up as much as you possibly can and they're locked tight it'll do the work after that tighten them up vertically just check them off one more time Now repeat the process on the other side. So right, you want to do the same thing again, just put a bit of lock tight on each and every one of them and fit them on. So if you've got a torque wrench, this is the best time to use it as well. And basically what you want to do is check your torque settings in your manual and torque them to the set, uh, Pacific settings of uh, what they require. So yeah, make sure you Check them with your torque, but this lock tight will lock them into place though. So right, let's tighten them up. So right, once you've uh, loosely tightened them up, just tighten them up again.
there you go, that's done now. So basically as simple as that, that's all you need to do. Right guys, um, I'm going to fit this back onto me motorbike now. And uh, I've done a separate video on that if you're interested in that. Right guys, uh, thank you for watching. Like, comment and subscribe. Bye.